What I have done is I have taken eight measures of this and I am putting it into oil so that the pieces will remain for a longer length of time in a crispy manner. For the masala what I have done is because I am making pulihara avakai. So for pulihara avakai what we do is the masala also apart from the salt, chilli powder and rai powder. So what I have done is I have taken about this glass of till and about 30 grams of dhania and I have roasted both of them and pound it into a paste. So apart from that I would be adding salt, chilli powder and mustard powder. So in addition to the regular avakai, here there would be a little bit of more spice in the form of dhania and sesame seeds. This is rai powder that I am using, rai powder or mustard powder what you call, one measure of it. I would be adding one and a half measures of chilli powder because of the extra sesame seeds that have gone into the masala. One measure of salt. In case the salt is less you can always add late uh, on the third day but if it is more you can't do anything. So it's always safer that just for a day things won't get spoiled but this will be sufficient and on the third day you need to definitely take it out into a broader vessel like this mix it thoroughly and then taste it and act accordingly. Now I would be adding the bagar. For the bagar I have put mustard seeds, ground nuts, red chilies and a lot of hing. For pulihara the flavor would be the hing and the dhania and sesame seed powder that has gone into it. It tastes very good. I'm adding some, some more oil to it so that it gets evenly mixed. Now I'm transferring the pieces. I would be adding about 15 grams of fenugreek powder. And just about the same methi seeds. I will transfer this into the jar.
I am going to make something different, pepper avakai. This is mainly done with only pepper, mustard powder and salt. This is the invention by my husband. He suddenly thought, why make the routine stuff? Let us make it with this and that's become a big hit. So every year we make it and then send it to my friends. I have taken eight measures of this glass and put it in oil to ensure that the pieces don't get very soft. I have taken one full glass of pepper and made pow coarse powder and almost equal quantity of salt, slightly less and the same proportion of mustard powder say about 5 grams of fenugreek powder and about a spoon of turmeric powder now add these pieces along with oil because it needs some more oil This is pepper avakai for you. I am going to make nubulavkai. I have taken 8 measures of this and I am mixing the pieces in oil so that the, mix, the pieces will not get soft. I am taking about 10 grams of cumin powder. And I have taken roughly half to three fourths glass of salt. I am taking salt less because we are not adding the chilli powder to it. It will only contain the sesame powder and the mustard powder. So the salt will become more if you add more. This is the sesame powder that I have made. I have taken one glass of it and I would be taking equal measure of mustard powder also. I have taken one glass of sesame, roasted sesame seed powder and I am taking one glass of, I have added about 10 grams of jeera powder. Now I would be adding fenugreek powder also say about 15 grams of fenugreek powder to this the twist is that when you're mixing it you can mix it with a little bit of water also and it will not get spoiled To this you can even add ginger garlic paste also if you like it. And some turmeric powder to add to the color. Now 
Now you add the pieces and mix it thoroughly. Nobula avakai is done. I need to transfer it into the jar. 